people of Ghana is your Nigerian get pleasure bringing you political news in a channel like on that just for the love Dr. Bomia has for the people he is just being committed to beautifying the life of everyone in Ghana and let today Dr. Bomia unveil the citizen are a one-stop mobile application for assessing various government services reporting issues and receiving real-time updates on public matters this is actually courtesy of Dr. Bomia please watch Ghana is moving towards a future where all your interactions with public services are simple, fast, and hassle-free. Globally, all governments mature through four key stages. Stage 1 is the analog government. This involves complex and manual paper processes that require both citizens and data to physically move from office to office to access any government service. Stage 2 is when the government becomes a transactional government. This stage is characterized by multiple service portals and websites that citizens can use to access and apply for government services. Stage 3 is the service-centered government. At this stage, access to all data required to apply for any government service is automatically shared across government offices as all systems across these offices are able to communicate with each other online and citizens don't have to fill long complicated forms over and over again when applying for a government service. And finally, stage 4 is the intelligent government. This is a stage achieved by the most developed countries around the world. At this stage, the government is able to use data from multiple services to plan, analyze, and deliver services that directly support its citizens. Since 2017, Ghana has been aggressively moving away from the analog or paper-based delivery of government services to upgrade to stage 2 and become a transactional government. This has been achieved through the aggressive digitization of government services, the introduction of the Ghana card, mobile money interoperability, Ghana.gov, and the digitization of several public services has now established Ghana as a transactional government where several services can be applied, processed, and paid online. With this remarkable achievement in less than a decade, the foundation is now set to move the country to the next stage of our development of public services. Ghana is now on the verge of entering stage 3 to create the service-oriented government. Once this phase is fully implemented... A lot of actually cried out that from the look of things, Ghana don't really need this mobilization or to modernize them. What they actually need is the night club and 24 hours that John Drummond Hammer actually promised them. Nationwide and across all public services, we will be positioned to advance towards stage 4, the intelligent government, a level currently achieved by the most advanced nations like the United States, United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Europe and China. Within the next few years, Ghana will totally eliminate the need for citizens to move from office to office or fill online forms over and over again just to apply for government services. All your data that you will need to apply or access any government service will be shared across agencies automatically. This future is possible thanks to the Citizen App Data Interoperability System. The Citizen App Data Interoperability System is a central platform that connects all public services in Ghana, allowing data to flow seamlessly between them. Instead of fragmented databases, each holding different pieces of your information, this system facilitates secure data sharing across agencies to create one unified digital record for every citizen. This is the power of data interoperability. It is a system where a single instance of a citizen's data can be shared across any relevant public service so that the citizen does not have to manually enter the same data over and over again. Here is how the Citizen App Data Interoperability System works. Once you verify your identity on the Citizen App, Using your Ghana card and phone number, all your personal information like your name and other details you provided to the National Identification Authority is securely accessed to create a digital ID for you. This digital ID is then used to facilitate the secure transfer of data every time you make any request to apply or access any government service. This means 
that the next time you need to apply or access any government service, all you have to do is to biometrically identify yourself to log in, follow a few steps, and your data stored with one government agency can be automatically shared with another agency. No more re-entering your information. And no more gathering of documents to satisfy requirements to complete an application for a service. From birth to death, starting a new business, applying for a permit, renewing a license, getting a passport, or accessing any government service, the Citizen app will be there with you every step of the way, connecting your data securely and seamlessly to the services you need when you need them. Welcome to the future of governance in Ghana. Welcome to the Citizen app, where government services meet digital efficiency. This digital uh, citizens app is actually a very wonderful step. That if it is actually, if the uh, Dr. Bome is giving chance to come and roll with us, it will reduce so much faith and allow you to apply for any service of your choice without going through so much stress. Please watch again. Interactions with public services are simple, fast, and hassle-free. Globally, all governments mature through four key stages. Stage 1 is the analog government. This involves complex and manual paper processes that require both citizens and data to physically move from office to office to access any government service. Stage 2 is when the government becomes a transactional government. This stage is characterized by multiple service portals and websites that citizens can use to access and apply for government services. Stage 3 is the service-centered government. At this stage, access to all data required to apply for any government service is automatically shared across government offices as all systems across these offices are able to communicate with each other online and citizens don't have to fill long complicated forms over and over again when applying for a government service. And finally, stage 4 is the intelligent government. This is a stage achieved by the most developed countries around the world. At this stage, the government is able to use data from multiple services to plan, analyze, and deliver services that directly support its citizens. Since 2017, Ghana has been aggressively moving away from the analog or paper-based delivery of government services to upgrade to stage 2 and become a transactional government. This has been achieved through the aggressive digitization of government services, the introduction of the Ghana card, mobile money interoperability, Ghana.gov, and the digitization of several public services has now established Ghana as a transactional government where several services can be applied, processed, and paid online. With this remarkable achievement in less than a decade, the foundation is now set to move the country to the next stage of our development of public services. Ghana is now on the verge of entering stage three to create the service-oriented government. Once this phase is fully implemented nationwide and across all public services, we will be positioned to advance towards stage four, the intelligence do well to like, comment, follow, put on notification bell so you get all our news one by one. Thanks, my people.